I am with Nina Lokes at Art from the Heart, and we are going to do a happy little painting. Yes, we are. And so what are we working on this week, Nina? Um, well, I thought we'd do something simple, since it's your first time That's painting right. with I'm me. right. I'm a rookie here. Um, sometimes simple can be a little bit harder, because yeah. when you don't have a lot going on in a painting, if there's something a little bit off, it's easier it's, to notice. Yes. So simple's not always good, but we're going to make it a not little easier easy. on yeah. you. Okay. Um, first of all, since it's your first time, I'm going to explain a few things. Okay. We are using acrylic paint. It is by far the easiest thing I teach in the studio. Perfect. I always tell my artists uh, it's the most forgiving because if there's something on there that you end up maybe not being thrilled about, if you let it dry, you can paint over it. Nobody will know it's under there but you. Okay. Okay. You can't jump in right away to fix it, and everybody wants to, because yeah. all you end up doing is mixing the paint. Yeah. So waiting for it to dry is the hardest. Okay. We're going to be doing a little baseball okay. in the grass. Okay. Something Beautiful. super simple. Yes. All the kids are out. There's just had the softball tournament. That's right. Uh, you could paint it yellow and make it a softball instead of a baseball. Mm -hmm. But we're actually going to cheat a little bit, which I hardly ever let anyone do. <laughs> well, I so appreciate I'm being it. really nice to you today. <laughs> we're actually going to trade. So we have a nice round uh, baseball. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a blue sky and grass at the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to actually do my underpainting, which is where you draw some things on here where you want them to be, okay. with a blue today. Okay. So I'm going to use my little brush. Okay. I'm going to take a dot of blue on the edge of my white. Okay. You always want to take your paint from the edge of that blob. Okay. Um, especially kids like to stick it in the middle, and all you do is make your paint dirty. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to decide where you want your baseball to be. Okay. You never want to have your horizon line right in the center. Kind of visually cuts your canvas in half. Okay. So it would be sitting in the grass. Okay. And we want it in the grass, not right on that horizon line. Okay. So I'm going to come down towards the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to go a little bit to one of the sides. Because things that are smack dab in the middle are not nearly as interesting to look at sure. as things that are offset or even go off the edge of your canvas. Mm -hmm. And we want thin layers of paint today, okay? okay? And it's harder than it looks tracing a roll yeah. of tape upright, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to make it work. <laughs> we don't want globs because when we do go back and paint, okay. um, we don't want that to mix in with what we're putting on top. Okay. And it doesn't need to be a perfect line because okay. none of that line is going to end up showing. All right. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to put a horizon line. Okay. So above that line is sky. Below that line will be grass. Okay. And does that go like through the middle of the bottle? Um, through the middle. If okay. I would put it here, mm -hmm. when I step back and look at it, it would look like that ball is falling backwards off a little hill or a cliff. Okay. You never want to put your object right on that horizon line. Okay. So okay. And then I am going to actually wash and dry my little brush because okay. we're going to be filling in a large area of background. Okay. So we want to have a bigger brush. Typically, bigger area you paint, the bigger the brush you're going to use. Okay. And I want this to be a sky, so I don't want a flat color like you'd paint a wall. If you mix your paint on your plate, you get a flat color. There's no lights and darks to it. Okay. If I, a big brush, dried and clean, pick up a little bit of blue and some white and just start filling in, okay. and I'm going to kind of do little X's. But it is going to leave lights and darks, and it isn't going to look as flat. Okay, so I And I'm going to fill in a little bit of blue, little blue uh, blue. mostly white, because oh, we want this white. to look like a nice summery day, so we don't okay. want a dark blue sky. Sure. And I'm just going to go down to that horizon line, okay. and I'm going to go around the edges also. Today we're using a stretched canvas. It has the wood frame with the canvas over it, so it has these edges. Mm -hmm. And if you're using a canvas like this, if you paint your edges when you get to them, when it is hanging up, it's going to be finished, you won't have to frame it. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, if you don't paint your edges when it's hanging up without a frame, it's just going to look a little rough and unfinished. Yeah. Super easy thing to do, and you might as well just do it as you get there. Now, as you're filling this in, try, like I said, not no globs. A okay. couple thin layers is nice. Um, we want thick paint but thin layers. Okay. You will notice those little white bumps peeking through. That is the tooth or the texture on your canvas, okay. and that is what grabs your paint and holds it. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're covering those. So is there different types of canvases, Nina? Or uh, There's the stretch canvas. canvas, there's the board canvas. You can buy wood and the, the roll of canvas and make your own. Um, this one was stretched, and uh, it, it's ready to paint on, so it's been gessoed. 
uh, you, there's a huge variety, lots of sizes, like lots of shapes. Mm -hmm. um, I find the stretched ones a little bit, I, I prefer painting on a stretch canvas rather than the, the panel. Okay. And that's just hard, like a piece of wood. Okay. Um, that one's good for kids, though. There's not as much give to it. Okay. So, sure. Um, kind of depends what you're painting. Kids and maybe new, new learners new, like new me. New learners, yeah. <laughs> um, for something like um, paint pours, I wouldn't recommend uh, the board canvas. Sometimes they tend to warp a little bit. Oh, okay. But um, typically we'll use a stretched canvas like this. But yeah, anywhere, you know, you can, Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby, even Walmart, Ross, they all have canvas. All have. Um, you don't have to spend a fortune to get the best canvas. You don't have to spend a fortune and get the best paint. All you need to paint are the primary colors in black and white, because uh, that will make any color you need. Mm -hmm. um, you do not need to go and get a tube of every color. Yeah. Um, especially if it's something you're just trying out to see if you enjoy it. Yeah. So. And is it like with little kids and stuff, it's fun to make, like to show them it how is. to make their It their is. Own well, color. I find that most people go and buy a tube yeah. of every color. Yeah. So color mixing is kind of a last, uh, a lost art. Mm -hmm. I actually, in the fall, I usually do. Um, color mixing classes oh. and things like that because um, I actually I always tell the story I had an adult woman ask me how to make red oh my goodness and it's like <laughs> I had a hard time explaining like, to her well you don't yeah that's and um, that's when you know that people aren't mixing colors enough yeah yeah mm -hmm. so it's uh, kind of my it's, mission to yeah. get people not to uh, to lose that that little uh Ability yeah. to mix colors. And there, like, there's very few things I remember from my art classes. We just were kind of talking about my experience mm -hmm. or lack thereof before this, and uh, there are a few things I remember a little bit about the color wheel. Right. You know, and color wheel, I go over that with as young as kindergarten. Oh, really? Um, you know, we'll talk about color mixing, and uh, you know, a lot of the it depends what preschool they go to. The the kindergartners, uh, the teachers are great about teaching, you know, the colors, the primaries, mm -hmm. and then all of that. But it seems as they get older, if they don't do it often, you kind of lose that, you know, you don't, yeah. you don't maintain that uh, memory. So we've just about got our sky filled in. Yeah, we are. If you started your edges, I want you to do all of them. Okay. Uh, there's not a whole yeah, lot yeah. to this painting, so we are taking our time. That's right. And we won't even have to wash our brush after we are done with the sky. Oh, why is that? Because we're going to be mixing green and you oh, use blue, blue for to green. make green. Okay, sure. So um, sometimes, especially the younger painters, spend so much time washing their brush mm -hmm. and playing in their water yeah. that they, uh, they kind of waste their painting time. Mm -hmm. And also, it's a really easy way to get water into that paint. Oh. And we want our paint to stay thick like that. Okay. We don't want to thin it out it kind of pools in around those little bumps. So I'm just gonna take my blue brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of yellow. Okay. And I'm not worrying about blades of grass yet. I okay. am doing just... a base color. Okay. And I'm gonna come up, I wanna make sure I cover that blue line. With the green. Okay. With the green. When this is all done, we don't want any of those blue lines showing and we don't want any bare canvas showing. Okay. So we're gonna fill this in. And if you are painting your edges, there is absolutely no rule that you can't uh, rotate this. Oh, okay? sure. So we'll probably get as far as getting this green filled in. Okay. So the next segment, we will add grass, and we will hit that baseball. Okay. No pun intended. No, we're going to knock it out of the park. <laughs> right? <if you> will. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay. Well, Nina, thank you so much. We have lots more work yet to do. We're going to have to obviously finish this at another time. If someone's interested in learning more, coming in and doing their own paint session with you, how can they find you? Easiest place to find me is on Facebook. Just okay. put in Art from the Heart Bismarck and it'll pop up. Have several summer camps still going on. Mm -hmm. um, right now I have a buy one, get one free special. Um, so you can buy a camp for your kid, a sibling can come, a friend can oh, come, oh, nice. cousin, to wrap up the summer, and I go till the day before school. So wow, so still lots of time. Still lots of time, still lots of time to do art, yep. Okay, well, I'm going to stick around here and finish this up. I got grass and a baseball to do yet. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. We have more North Dakota Today coming up right after.